remember those simple times before the internet when the world of gaming was full of urban legends. A time when stories about secret codes were whispered throughout school playgrounds without any evidence to back them up. In honor of these glorious days, we give you the top five myths in gaming. By the way, did you know that if you play this video five times on the 5th of May in 2015, you will see a picture of me, the mysterious voiceover lady. Yep, that's 100% true. Try it. Five. Look, admit it, we all cried like babies when Ares died in Final Fantasy VII. But what if you could bring her back to life by using a restore spell made from underwater materia? The resurrect Ares myth supposedly came from a person who worked at Squaresoft, which gave it some credibility. Sometimes you simply want to believe. Every Diablo player who grew up in the 90s knows the myth about the secret cow level. Supposedly, if you click on all the cows outside town, you will be transported to a hidden level. While the myth was completely false, Blizzard decided to hide an actual secret cow level in Diablo 2. However, to this day, the company officially states that there is no cow level, which only adds to the confusion. <laughs> the open world nature of the GTA games has led to many false rumors over the years. But nothing quite captured people's imagination like the Sasquatch myth from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Gamers believed that they could find a Yeti if they walked around the forest long enough. Rockstar has stated that Bigfoot isn't in the game and made fun of the myth in Red Dead Redemption. Shoot. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop! And if that wasn't enough, they also put a Sasquatch in GTA 5. Way to go, Rockstar. It's just a fucking mask. Make it stop, human. Man, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. It was hard to be a Super Nintendo fanboy when it came to Mortal Kombat in the 90s. This family-friendly version of the game replaced blood with sweat and neutered the fatalities. Soon rumors started flying about a blood code that would allow you to unlock the gore from the arcade version. This code did not exist on the Super Nintendo, but did, however, exist on the Sega Genesis. Yep, the origin of the damn rumor was the Genesis version itself. One. With the huge success of Lara Croft in the 90s, it was inevitable that rumors would circulate of a cheat code that would simply melt away her digital clothes. Gamers could never find a nude code that worked, despite there being a flood of them in the 90s. The nude code for the original Tomb Raider is a great example of how wishful thinking can lead to a very popular myth. Gentlemen. Jesus. Don't you think you've seen enough? See the latest from the show floor at E3 2014, here on Zoom In TV Games. This June, Zoom In TV Games will bring you exclusive interviews and previews straight from the show floor in Los Angeles. Download Zive for iOS or Android devices and receive notifications when we go live. Download Zive, subscribe to our channel and join us at E3 2014 for the hottest video game updates. <laughs>